Hey guys, so today I'm here to do a college dorm essentials tips video. Um, basically this is for all incoming freshmen and even people that are returning to college and just kind of want more ideas on how to do their dorm room, this is for you. I have 10 tips, 10, 10 tips for you. Just things that I experienced while I was moving in and just decorating my room. This is just stuff that I've learned along the way. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helps. And um, let me know what you think below. If you have any questions or anything like that, just comment below and I'll be sure to answer. Okay, so let's get right into it. Number one, probably the most important one, storage, storage, storage. I cannot stress enough how important storage is. Like, just storage things. Bins, crates, um, Tupperware, those sliding bins that hold, like, clothes and shoes that you put under your bed, those... Literally just any kind of storage you see that's like for dorm and is cute, get it. Um, dorm rooms are small, I'll tell you guys right now. You may be thinking that you're going to move in and it's going to be just like your room at home, but it's not. It is really small. It's significantly smaller and you only have half a room to work with and if you're in a single, then you maybe you have a little bit more space, but even those are even smaller. So um, number one tip is just to get anything kind of storagey. If you watch my dorm room tour, which I do have up, I'll link that below, or probably like right here or something, I don't know, right there. You will see that I have those bins, they're like, kind of like cloth bins, you can get them at Target, Bed Bath & Beyond, where I got mine, any kind of store like that, you can get them at. Those bins will save you all the little things that you have, like hygienic products, um, just little knickknacks, anything that you have, those can store them, and it's just so much easier and so much less messy and less cluttered. So yes, yeah, storage is number one thing. Number two, buy big things first and then decor after you get there. Okay, meaning, basically what I'm get saying, get all of the necessities. Get, like, your desk chair if you don't get one provided for you at school. Get, like, your bed things, like, um, your linens and things like that, bed sheets, bed, you know, blankets, I don't know, whatever. Get all those things first. Get, if you're going to have, like, shelving, get shelves, get your fridge, all that stuff. Get that stuff first because that's the stuff that really adds like the price up and when you get to your room and you see stuff like start to come together you'll know what you want for your decor i know me i bought everything at once and got to my room and was like i have too much stuff for this little room a lot of my decor things for my walls just didn't fit in with my theme anymore they didn't fit with my room they just were too much and i ended up having to return them or just keep them because i couldn't return them so um just a word to the wise don't buy a bunch of decorations first. It really can be a waste of time at the end of the day. And, I mean, just start small. Just get the necessities that you need. When you move in, put all those things out first and then look around and see what you want. Oh, you want flowers on that wall. You want, you know, a picture frame on that wall. And, like, then you can just go and get the things that you absolutely want and need and your room will look much better than just having a bunch of random things that you found throughout the summertime to just put up. Trust me, it will look so much better, I swear. Okay, number three, bed risers. They are optional, obviously, but I know my school, the bed was really, really low. And I don't like low beds. <laughs> I don't know what it is, I just don't like it. So, I got bed risers, they're like plastic, or you can get wood ones, doesn't really matter. They're like six inches, they're usually about this tall. And you just, they're kind of like, they kind of look like cones, and you just put them under each leg of the bed. So your bed is like six inches higher, which sounds like nothing, but it really makes a difference. People come into my room all the time and they'll be like, whoa, your bed's so high. And yeah, I mean, I don't know. Maybe it doesn't matter to you, but it matters to me. Plus, when you make your bed higher, you have more storage underneath to fit your suitcases, which is what I did. And any boxes or bins or under bed storage you want to put under, you have so much more room to do that. So that's just an option. I mean, Bed Bath & Beyond has a pack of like four for probably ten bucks, maybe less. Um... And you don't need any more than that. You just go and get the pack, put it under your bed, and you're set. So that's one thing to think about. Number four, carpeting. Um, maybe your dorm already has carpeting in it. If so, you're very lucky. Mine did not. My school did not provide carpets. You had to buy your own if you wanted to carpet in your room. They can get expensive, not going to lie, but they're worth it, if you ask me. Um, I don't like having my feet cold. You walk on this cold tile, and it can get really dirty, and you just... It's just not, like, a good situation. So, personally, I prefer to carpet. Me and my roommate both split the cost of, like, a $70 carpet, and there you go. It was fine. Um, usually, the campus will have, like, recommended places to buy a carpet, or else they even provide a place that you can buy them. I know my school had, like, trailers on campus that sold carpeting and fridges and futons and things like that. So, 
look into that if you're into something like that for your room but definitely carpeting is a big plus and plus it just makes it feel more homey you know if you're going to a school far away out of state like I did it's kind of a culture shock and you might want to go home sometimes but like if you make your room feel like home then it's a lot easier and I know for me is that a bug? No. Um, I know for me just having that carpet such a small thing made my room feel like my room and not just this tiley place that I'm living in for the next few months so I don't know just a tip number five um, get a bathrobe and shower caddy or at least consider the bathrobe um, obviously I'm probably I'm sure you all know about shower caddies if you don't have an in like in room bathroom you usually will have a communal bathroom which is when the whole floor shares one big bathroom which is like my school had like six stalls on one side um, six sinks and then six or seven shower stalls and that's it um, so you have to carry all of your like shower things from your room to the bathroom and back no one wants to carry around a shampoo a conditioner a deep conditioner if you do that a towel like soap a razor maybe some music like you don't want to and like clothes you don't want to carry all of that so I highly suggest getting a shower caddy again they're super cheap they're at Target, Bed Bath & Beyond, Macy's, Boscov's, like, everything. <laughs> They're everywhere, so it's not a big deal. I'm sure you'll find one. It's really easy. And I just got a big pink plastic one that has two compartments on the side and two little ones for, like, your toothbrush and toothpaste. It makes things so much easier. So definitely invest in a shower caddy. Um, they're just awesome. They save your life. And then as far as the bathroom goes, you don't have to get that, but that's just a personal preference for me. If your room is far from the bathroom on your floor, it can be awkward to walk from the bathroom to your room in a towel because people are all over the hallway all the time. So if you're not close with your floor, you're like you're not comfortable with your body or whatever, and you don't want to walk around in a towel, but you don't want to get dressed in the bathroom because I hate getting dressed in the bathroom, which I never did. Um, a bathroom makes it so much easier. You just pop it on, carry your shower caddy and your towel, and you go to your room and you're fine. So something to think about I mean bathrooms are expensive again you can get them at Target and pretty much everywhere you go so yeah think about that that's definitely something that helped me at least for the first half of the year so yeah okay number six uh, pillow top mattress whoa. pillow top for your mattress um, usually colleges don't give you the best beds from my experience the mattresses suck not gonna lie they're hard they're little twin mattresses twin XLs whatever um, and they're not very good. People are laying on them every single year. So, like, some are hard because they're new. Some are, like, kind of creaky and weird. Like, it's kind of weird. So, um, I recommend the solution for that is to get a pillow top mattress to make it nice and soft and just more homey. Again, um, I love soft beds. I'm sure a lot of girls do. Maybe even guys, too. So, just get a quick pillow top mattress. They're not super cheap, but you can get a good deal for one at Bed Bath & Beyond like I did. And... You just honestly get one that's like this thick or like the ones that you just um, have a sheet attached. You can just put it on the bed. That works wonders. It makes it like a whole new bed, I promise, guys. It really does. And then, I mean, it's just more comfortable and it just makes you feel a lot better and more like home. So that's something definitely to think about and look into. Number seven, get a printer. I said this in my um, college dorm room tour as well, but I'm saying it again. Get a printer it makes life so much easier and seriously you get them for free at Best Buy I don't know if they're still having it so I don't want to like get you guys hyped up on printers when you can't get one for free like I did but I'm pretty sure Best Buy has still has it that every summer when you buy a laptop for school you get a printer well you, don't, you have to pay for the printer but they send you a rebate card in the mail which they really do like right away so the printer ends up being free and it's just like why not do that like it makes your life so much easier, I swear. When you, when your friends are, like, rushing to the library or to, you know, the, like, university building to get something printed before class, you're just printing out from last night because you had your printer in your room. Like, I don't know. It just made my life so much easier to have a printer in my room. I recommend just getting your own. It's so much easier and it avoids a lot of the lines and hassle. Number eight, a TV. Now, I know a lot of people's first... Thing about dorms is they want a TV they want to have that cool room with like the awesome TV setup whatever it's you don't need it it's honestly so optional like it's good to have friends with TVs but you don't necessarily need one in every single room from my experience I love TV okay I watch TV every day at my house but in college you're so busy with friends with homework with school 
with extracurricular things, with going out, like, there's just so much going on that you don't have time to just sit and watch TV, and if you do, lucky you. Um, I didn't, so all I can tell you is from my experience, and I had, like, negative time for TV, so I didn't watch a lot of TV. My roommate brought it, but we didn't really turn it on all that much. We probably had it on, I want to say, 20 to 30 times the entire year. If that, I don't know, it really wasn't a lot. It comes in handy to have a friend with a TV, but they're not, like, the end of the world. If you don't have one right away, don't stress about it, because it's not a big deal. Um, next, number nine, we're almost done, is a fridge and microwave. Yes, 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 please get a fridge and a microwave. Figure out with your roommate right now, today, if you haven't already, that if you're going to get a fridge and microwave and who's going to get what, because they save you guys. When the dining hall is gross, which it is, when you don't want to pay for food because you're poor, which you do get poor, you have the fridge and microwave to rely on. I lived off of cereal for a little bit and like, you know, frozen dinners like mac and cheese and like soup and pastas and stuff like that. I don't know. I like that kind of stuff. So having a fridge and microwave really does save you. Um, for those days when you just don't want to leave your room, you're really not feeling it, you just want to eat, you know, in peace kind of and do your work. You can have that milk in the fridge, cereal, and just, you know, go ham. Or else have, like, soup or something. I don't know. Whatever you put in your microwave. Um, <laughs> I don't know. It's just something that definitely saved me, especially towards the end of the year when you're really just tired of eating out and tired of eating dining hall food. And all you want is to get home. Um, you know, just a fridge and microwave are really good things to have, to be honest. Okay, and number ten, the final tip that I have for you guys is kind of a simple one. It's just to be creative and have fun with it. This is a chance to literally, like, change your life or change everything, really. I mean, my room, my home room and my dorm room are completely different. You can see my house room back here is, like, kind of crazy. My dorm room was much more organized, and I don't know, it was fun to decorate. This is a time for you really to just explore and just see what you like, what you don't like, and I don't know, just have fun with it. Don't take things too seriously, because, I mean, college is only four years, guys, and it goes by like that. I mean, I'm only done my first year but that first year literally I can't even believe it's over so I don't know just be creative with your room have fun with it try and get to know your roommate as best as you can and have fun with them and just have a good time college is really really different from high school but it's really a good time if you you know embrace everything so that's all I have to say I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it was at least a little bit helpful again if you have any questions just comment below and I'll be sure to answer them and let me know if you guys want to see any more college talk videos. I don't know. Um, but for now, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all soon. Bye.